Hey guys, Jack Gleason with StartupTraining.com and I'm going to be going over a trade that I took here today. I'm going to make about $25,000 on this Nadex trade. Pretty big trade, but the risk reward was fantastic. Now you can see the average price I paid was $17.21. So anytime I can pay under 20 bucks per contract for Nadex, I really, really like that trade. Um, so I have 302 contracts times $17.20, which cost me roughly $5,000. Now, the total payout on that is going to be uh, $30,200. Uh, $30, so I'm roughly going to make $25,000 on $5,000. Okay, so, you know, 5xing five, five my money here, which is, you know, if you could 5x your money every day, you're going to be a rich man. Uh, or woman, let's be politically correct. All right, just kidding. We're not politically correct. Um so the Russell here, why I bought this, there's this daily level, this 50% retracement that we ran into. And I've been watching this for quite some time now. It was initially front run, which all that means is that it didn't trade. I'm going to go ahead and actually delete these studies so we can see this a little clear. And then today we retested that 21.99, which was in my morning trade plan video. And as we retested that 21.99, we started getting a very aggressive reaction. Now, I'm going to throw back on my studies. Anytime I'm looking at the market and I have a level uh, that trades and then we're instantly back above that swing high. So this will be the swing high that white dot marks a leg start. We trade lower to 1105 and then I'll like be like, hey, where are we in 25 minutes? So 1105 plus 25 minutes is 1130. Okay, well at 1130 we were already way higher, but I know that like if we react in within three bars, so 15 minutes, we're instantly right back above that resistance. What that's telling me is there is a lot of buyers in this market and they are market order buyers. Now, to be honest, I was sweating this towards the end of the day. I was like thinking, I was like, man, we didn't hold the halfway back. Uh, you know, I was looking at this halfway back, but I had taken the risk in Nadex and I was like, and you could see there was bids on this halfway back. That should have held. I took in the risk. I was waiting. Um, and you know what? It, it didn't pan out. But I thought, you know, sometimes in the last hour of the day, we can really run. This market especially has been a, a really bipolar. It goes straight down, straight up. There's only like one entry, and then it's just an absolute ripper. Or same thing to the downside. There's one entry, absolute dump. So it's been one of those markets. You got to catch the first move and then just hang on and hold on. So the reason I picked that 2236 strike as we got down to these lows is we were down like 40 points on the day coming into that support level. Well, I thought, well, if this is going to be a higher time frame support, realistically, we should see a reversal and the Russell can close green. Well, closing green, if you look at yesterday's close here, this is yesterday's, uh, this is the three, the four o'clock close. That's a cash close. That's 2236. So I thought if we were going to go green, we could be above that 2236 by the end of the day. Uh, and that's exactly what's happened here. We do have, what time is it? We have three minutes left till I actually like quote unquote cash this position. And um, after I cash that position, let's see here. Uh, what I would like to do is just take this next trade setup. And I'll give you guys my trade setup for tomorrow. Sorry, I got a little distracted there. My trade setup for tomorrow is I'm going to be buying this extension. For those of you guys who are in my master class, you know what that means. From this high here too high and I'm going to be looking to uh, get long the 50% retracement that 50% retracement is a 22.27.7 okay 22.27.7 uh, and that would take me uh, into tomorrow that's going to line up with the lows of what day is that today's Thursday so that'll be the low right around the lows of Wednesday I'm going to be looking to get long again in the overnight session so I'm obviously not going to risk the whole thirty thousand uh, dollars but I will take probably another five or ten thousand dollar position and then just take the rest of the money uh, out of my account anyways hope this video helps um, you guys with you know picking your Nadex strikes and looking for good risk for trade shows and maybe guys, some of you guys will join me on this trade I'm looking to take overnight but do your own analysis don't just rely on mine take care later